The Equine Behavior Program was started in the mid-1980s here at New Bolton Center and is probably still the only dedicated horse behavior program uh, at a veterinary school in the world. We started it with a simple question that came from a young student interested in uh, the differences between harem and bachelor stallions and it's uh, been going ever since. Uh, we re recognize it as such a, a valuable teaching resource and a, and a research uh, a resource to better understand uh, not only the behavior of horses but their health and welfare. Um, uh, many things that uh, we learn from this herd have uh, immediate important application to uh, better management and welfare of domestic horses. One of the things within the veterinary school environment that has been so fascinating about this herd is how well they maintain their health and how injury free they are compared to when we try to do the best we can for domestic horses. We started in 1994 with um, 13 males, 13 females that were unrelated and we turned them out to live under as natural social organization an environment that you can get while still enclosed where we could study them. We currently have uh, approximately 90 ponies in the herd and they're living on about 40 acres. This population has maintained um, great diversity. There's almost no inbreeding and uh, so we're studying how how that actually works. Um, the females um, seem to only breed with the most distantly related males available. And the young females, when they're in their natal band with their brothers and their dad, um, their brothers and their dad are, don't appear to be interested in them when they're ready to breed. They, in fact, let them go away from the band and co-mingle with other groups where there would be unrelated males. In that mate selection mode, um, or whenever they breed, they actually go nose to nose first and sort of breathe in each other's breath. Some horse people call it kissing. <laughs> um, but it appears that it's at that juncture that they either proceed with breeding or they back off. And it seems the male is also not quite as enthusiastic with a relative, but we're not sure whether that's sort of the decision is based on what we think is the, the uh, olfactory, the smell, or whether that uh, may be his response to the female's um, subdued interest in breeding a relative.